At Onfido, we help 1,500 businesses verify the government IDs of the customers that they're onboarding. If you're an online bank, for instance, and you're signing up a user, the user is asked to take a photo of their government ID, such as a passport or driving license, and a short recording of their face. We then use machine learning and other technologies to verify that that seems like a genuine ID and it's not fake. When my parents moved to the UK when I turned 10, I could see how broken the verification process was. It doesn't make much sense. The current global economy is underpinned by credit bureaus. Essentially, it's a 150-year method, it centralizes everyone's personal data. The intention is to stop fraud, but the unintended consequences, as they're being hacked, they're making it easier for fraudsters to steal people's identities and, and, and uh, open accounts. That model needed to change, and the alternative of going face-to-face -face and seeing anyone in branch didn't seem too convenient nor scalable. We had some early investors who committed to investing £30,000 at the time. They pulled out, so that set us back by 18 months. We had a, a range of issues around, in large part, not having customers. <laughs> that was a, a bit of a problem. But lastly, we were seen as, you know, university students without experience, without uh, any competitive advantage. Most of them, the people we presented to at the early days, they wanted something plain and simple that had a, a sort of clear trajectory to profitability in, in a year or two. That's not the way it should work because we're solving a global problem. We're going to need a lot of investments and then ultimately to be able to be profitable in the long term. We're a flat hierarchy. You're only able to succeed in this day and age if, if you do run a flat hierarchy. You can't have this one master strategist that sort of plans and, and knows the future. It just doesn't work that way. You need a, a flat hierarchy and a team that everyone sees themselves as a co-founder. Being young doesn't matter that much. The value in that is that there are no boundaries or walls uh, in anyone's mind, so that uh, we are ambitious and we're looking to solve this problem in a global way. Whereas, naturally, those who are experienced, there's so much value in that. I continuously am involved with hiring. Our culture is incredibly important. I personally look for hunger. Someone that wants to learn and teach others, someone is, who's looking to be collaborative, thinking outside of the box. It's a very serious and, and growing problem. So the only fight at the back is in part the, the work that we do and others in our industry. It's not about companies becoming compliant, it's about stopping bad actors. And therefore, we've been able to be more effective than historic approaches, in large part because we're, we're driven to stop it um, and not necessarily uh, serve more as a compliance tool. The reason why we're doing so well is because we use machine learning effectively.